Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog, and it's your girl Leslie. And okay, she's not really in it. In I'm it, eating. She's eating. But this is my best friend Michelle. Hi. Now she's my best friend slash assistant, which is really cool. Which are you even really assistant? <laughs> not really. You're like a administrator. No. You're a social media poster. No, I mean, because you, you also email. Anyway, guys, she might. I did, we call her assistant, but she's really not my assistant. So I was like, oh my God, I have to vlog because I didn't vlog. I don't be vlogging. So here I am vlogging. Um, we just got back from the grocery store. I'm cleaning my strawberries. I'm about to make me some tacos. And I already soaked this apple in that solution. My kitchen looks like a hot mess. It looks like a hot broken mess. But at least I cleaned my fruit, right? So let me go ahead and finish doing what I was doing. Did you have a glass of water here or not? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I put it in the by accident. Towels. You know how people be having towels? Yeah. That's what I need. I don't have like any towels. something i wanted to know for my color party just in case you guys are wondering i'm having a color party ashley thinks it's weird that i'm gonna have regular food there she thinks because it's a color party it should just be snacks because they're bringing snacks of that color so why am i cooking regular food if it's just like a color party that's true but i'm like it's a party like do, am i not providing regular food so i was like oh if you're yellow you could be macaroni and cheese and she's like but i was not even thinking about cooking and I'm like, yeah, I know, but I wanted you to be yellow because I wanted your macaroni and cheese. But she's like, I don't think that that's necessary. And I'm like, but what about me as the host? Like, I can be like, I can have like chicken and empanadas or something, right? Chicken empanadas and macaroni and cheese. I mean, see yeah, her I guess if you want, but I get she was, yeah, it's supposed to be just snacks, whatever people bring. Yeah, but like, if we're drinking, wouldn't it like make sense to have food? Like, Barb would never throw an event without food. Like food, food. She'd be having food, food. Right? Well, when we throw a party, it's snacks. Chips, dip. I guess if everyone is bringing chips and dips and stuff, there's no point. Jeez. But anyway, guys, comment below if you guys think. My party is not until like June. No, it's not. It's at the end of May. But I think that I should have macaroni and cheese, empanadas, and wings. And then I don't even have to be a color. I could just be the rainbow. Or I don't have to waste my time cooking at all and just do a basket like everybody else or just provide the alcohol one color. <laughs> all blue alcohol <laughs> or something. Well, that's what people should bring. They should bring a drink of food. And a snack type and a, snack. And a dessert. Yeah, like in that color. It should, everyone should bring a drink. Oh, I mean, 20, feet, 20 drinks? All right, whatever. I'm going to listen to whatever you guys say. I won't. I won't cook. But I thought it would be nice to have like actual food food no okay 
Well, Michelle's gonna finish eating her chips and dip. She's working on reposting content, period. Um, and I'm hungry, I might start cooking. What is up, y'all? So I finished eating those tacos, mad good. Banging, spicy, banging. So good, I haven't like cooked for myself in so long. I've been ordering out like all the time because I'm just not home. So I was like, oh, like my friend, my assistant, whatever, my best friend, whatever you wanna call her. Michelle, <laughs> she was like, I'm hungry. Like, what do you want to eat? And I was like, look, I don't even want DoorDash. Like, I want to just go to the store. And we just went to the store. I'm so happy we did it. Um, and that's why you guys saw me washing the strawberries. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm doing this thing where I'm going to walk three miles a day for 30 days straight. So I am headed to my complex gym. It's only day two. Woo, I almost forgot. I didn't forget, but like... I procrastinated and now that it's the end of the day i'm like Ugh, why did i procrastinate so it was really cold this morning i really wanted to go on a walk earlier but in my mind i'm like i don't want to go all the way to the gym i kind of wanted to walk outside so i'm headed to the gym it's actually a really nice day y'all like it's actually really nice i don't know it's like like, I would walk outside now, but I know if I give it a few more minutes, it's gonna get cold. So, oh well. So I was gonna walk outside. I mean, I was gonna walk in the gym, but then um, one of my girlfriends were in there and she was like, just walk outside, it's not that cold. And I'm like, you're right, it's not that cold. So I went back to get my AirPods <laughs> and now I'm walking outside because it's really not that cold. Like I was dragging it. So I'm gonna do our hour out here before the sun goes down because I would have been bored in there and it was like stuffy and weird. I don't like that, bad vibes in that gym. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna just do my walk out here. So I'm on it. I am back in the house and I'm in the corner because the lighting over here at least is better. Like this is the only place where I can get good lighting to vlog in here. I need new light bulbs, <laughs> but um, I didn't really sweat. Like, I don't know what's going on with my body. I thought I would be at least like sweaty in my crotch area, but maybe because it's chilly or maybe I went way too slow. But honestly, like I'm not trying to get my heart rate up. Like it's fine. So I'm not gonna like mess up what I'm already doing. I've done it the hard way. I've done it the let's run and go psycho crazy way. Now I'm gonna do it the right way. Like make sure my heart rate doesn't go too high. Because it's not good for my body for my heart rate to go too high. So, yeah. So, I am going to read the Bible. I actually, it's so crazy. I, like, was listening. Like, I do worship when I'm walking as much as I can anyway. Like, that's, like, my time with God. Like, I just listen to praise and worship. And I just sing or I practice my notes for church. Like, it's very God-related. Like, I just love, even when I go to the gym, I listen to praise and worship. I don't really listen to any type of music. Unless I'm just over it, then I'm like, let me put on some, like, something. Let me put on R&B or something. Sometimes I need, like, something to keep me entertained, especially when I'm on the treadmill. But, like, I got home after connecting with nature and, oh, my God, the song Champion came on. And I was, it was like, you are my champion. Giants fall where you stand undefeated. Every battle you've won. I love it. And I just like, <laughs> something came over me. I moved my coffee table over and I was just on my knees in like downward facing dog. I don't know if that's the right one. My It's not downward facing dog. My butt wasn't up in the air. But my face was on the ground. Like something just came over me and I just was like filled with the spirit. That's how I felt anyway. Because like, and I swear like I know that I know that I'm good. You know, I've been trying to like live my whole life and control my whole life. And finally I'm like, oh, I don't have to be in control anymore. There's like some sense of relief of not feeling like you have to control everything in your life. I don't, I know my eyes are glossy. I'm not gonna cry, <laughs> but I am like emotional because like, I just always thought it was me against the world and it's not like, and I feel that, like, I feel his presence, like, it's the craziest thing. And all I want to do is just learn more about him, um, God. I want to learn more about God. I want to learn more about Jesus. And I want to learn more about, like, the type of person I can be and the success that I can have through Jesus, like. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I'm about to get into studying the Bible because I just 
this is what I do now. <laughs> I've only read like three books in the Bible all the way through, maybe four because it's Genesis. I think I read like a hundred times because I thought the Bible was a regular, regular book where you just go from beginning to end, which you can read a beginning to end, but you don't have to. So I'm jumping back between New Testament, Old Testament. So I read um, Luke and then I've already read John before and now I'm in Samuel so I'm just going to hop back and forth because there's a lot of good stories in the Old Testament. Um, but there's also like more information about like the type of life that Jesus wants us to live in the New Testament. Or, you know, just it's just a good examples of everything. Like if you're going through something, there's a chapter or there's something in the Bible that can be your roadmap for that situation at that given time. And that exact same chapter, the exact same story that you read can have a different meaning the second time you read it, depending upon where you are in your life. So yeah, that's my spiel on religion right now. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start studying. <laughs> right. I have the authority Jesus has given me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 